I sold a comic today. I managed to make a sale on Gumroad today. Sold an issue of Arsenal number one for a buck. So that plus the fact that I read a headline, not the whole article, that DC is going to be emphasizing more digital comics in the future, thought today would be a good time to talk about it. There's a lot of perks when it comes to selling digital comics, um, especially if you're a small publisher. First and foremost, it gives you almost absolute distribution power, uh, leveling the playing field with the big two. This allows you to sell books all around the world, and I wouldn't be saying this just as a theoretical. I've actually experienced this myself. One of the first issues I've ever sold of Arsenal was uh, sold somewhere out in the Middle East somewhere, and the person enjoyed the book so much that they sent me an email thanking me for making my books available digitally because in that part of the world, uh, not just do they not have comic book stores, but they've never had comic book stores. And that made me wonder about some places that lack infrastructure. By not making your books available digitally, not just are you shooting yourself on the foot of potential sales, but you're also not exposing your book to the rest of the world. Naturally, profit margins are much higher when it comes to digital comics because you don't have to worry about cost of printing, um, a place to store it, and of course distribution. And when I say distribution, that means diamond plus the store, which does eat up a large part of the cover price. PDFs cost nothing to create, and if you're doing it yourself, you're pretty much creating a passive income machine with every book that you publish. Digital storefronts don't adhere to the laws of retail. Unlike business hours, the internet never closes, so you can be making sales any time of day to any place in the world, and with much higher profit margins. If you're a small publisher, it's a win-win. It's a win for customers, too. They don't have to wait for a store to open and see if they have it in stock to buy it. They can pretty much buy a comic book any time of the day. They can be buying it at home, on their lunch break at work, or even on vacation if they want. Not to mention, they can take their entire library with them to read whenever they like. Good luck getting around the airport carrying a couple long boxes. Last but not least, let's not forget how much more environmentally sound it is to be selling books through PDF than it is to be cutting down trees. With all due respect, not all comics are worth the paper they're printed on.